just walking around this village, it's pretty incredible. The difference, you know, seeing the new village, it's just night and day. It's almost like two different, two total different worlds. More on China's efforts to eradicate poverty. Since 2005, the Chinese government has spent over 80 billion dollars to end poverty. They have relocated millions of households from remote rural regions to new villages. Eradicating extreme poverty. I think that's the first goal at this moment. They've built new roads and improved the livelihood of locals. So I've come to the village of Huawu to see the progress that has been made to change the villagers' lives here. To get down to the village, there is a road with 33 turns. I'm not walking though, I'll take a car. So this is the hotel that I'm staying in. Let's go see what it's like. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. The view is unbelievable. Mountains, the river, Jin Piaoliang. But no time to waste. I'll go out and have a look around the village. Five years ago, 189 people were relocated to this town because in their village they were struggling. The earth was rocky, difficult to grow things, and also the area is prone to natural disasters. Huawu Village is located in the valley of Baili Wujiang Gallery. Wujiang River is the right bank branch of the upper reaches of the Yangtze River and the first major river in Guizhou. It covers an area of 87,900 square kilometers. It's an important component of ecological protection in the Changjiang River Basin. The whole section of the Wujiang River has been fully reflected in the achievements of Guizhou's emphasis on ecological protection and green transformation and development. So the question remains, why did they relocate the villagers here? This is Wujiang Yuanbai Li Gallery. We have these huge cars cliffs dropping right down to the Wu River. Absolutely beautiful scenery, you won't see it anywhere else in the world. Wawu is also known as the center of Chinese folk culture and art because there is a lot of minority influence here. <laughs> so 34 families and 189 people have been relocated to this village. But for them to truly move out, live steadily and prosper, the government has taken to the model of poverty alleviation, which integrates tourism, culture, characteristic industries and other projects to get them out of poverty and keep them out. So here we have a mural and up above it we have this sign which translates to let's help the village together, we'll all get better together. Very nice, just above the whole town here. So let's go and meet some inheritors of this Miao embroidery technique. When did you start the Miao embroidery? Can you show me some examples of your work? So how long would it take to make something like this? Wow, it's really nice. What Jen Chihuan. Is it only clothes that you make or do you make other things? Oh, so can you show me how to do the embroidery? Wow, I've got to be careful. Okay. Oh, oh. It's so difficult. I don't think I could do this without years and years of practice. So is there an easier way to do it? 
呃，现在有很多年轻人都选择回来做这个刺绣的。呃，以前呢，我们这里的话就是基本上是没有什么收入，那年轻女孩子都会选择外出打工。现在的话，因为我们这里就是创办了这个扶贫车间呢，很多年轻人都回都选择回来呃加入我们一起做这个苗绣。在这里面的话，也可以照顾小孩子，也可以照顾老人。在这边的话，收入还不错，所以大家都现在都是非常的愿意的在这边上班的话，也是非常的开心的。It's really good how they keep up with the times. Instead of everyone embroidering by hand, they have these machines to really speed up the process and keep getting these lovely clothes out. So I was talking to one of the locals who used to live in the old village and he talked about how he had to climb the whole way up the mountain to get supplies from outside of the village. I'm very interested about what the old village was like, so I'm going to meet another local today who's going to take me back to the old village and show me what it was like before. Ni hao, ni hao. Ah, ni hao, ni hao. This is the village now. So how many years did you live in this village? Uh, I've been living here for 40 years. 40 years? Uh, yes, I've been living in this village. So you were born here as well? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. So where was the house that you used to live in? Just down here. Oh, just in here? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. I've been living in my home. Oh, you've been living in your home? Yes, this is very bad. Yes, yes, yes. When we were out, we went to the place. We went to the house here. We went to the house here. We went to the house here. 手要用，用手把脚，这样脚也是要这样蹬上去的，比蹬那个珠穆朗玛峰还要难呢。啊，那嗯。Wang has now moved to a new house in the village. He owns a restaurant and a car, and both of his kids now go to university. After seeing with my own eyes just how far this village has come, from a small group of houses overshadowed by this huge cliff to this new, modern, technology-driven village. That they can use their embroidery skills and their cultural heritage to push into the future. I think it's astonishing and absolutely great how the government has helped them not only just get out of a difficult situation, but be able to start their own businesses and to sell products in this absolutely beautiful environment. I really hope that this village and countless other similar villages across China can continue to prosper and enjoy their livelihoods for years and even generations to come.